Pralada was a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. His son is Virochan. And like all stories of Asura, he become very powerful until Vishnu comes to him in the form of Mohini and secures a gift from him. Whatever you wish, says Virochan. Mohini immediately asks him for his head. Virochan, true to his word, severs his neck to the delight of the devas. Virochan's son Bali becomes more powerful than any other asura before him. And like his father, he is very generous. This make Bali a very popular asura. In his realm, there is prosperity everywhere. His fame spreads far and wide and in time eclipses even the glory of the devas. Human turns to Bali with reverence and eventually even Sachi leaves in Ra's side to sit beside the wise and noble Bali. So great is Bali that in his kingdom everything is perfect. All needs are satisfied and all wants are met. There is no disease or death. People conclude that Bali must be God. Even Bali comes to believe that he is God. After all, he can give everyone whatever they desire. That is when Vishnu approaches Bali as a dwarf or Vaman. Whatever you wish shall be yours, says Bali. Vaman asks for three pieces of land. Without a thought, Bali agrees to give what Vaman wants. But Shukra, advisor of Bali, recognizes Vishnu. He tells Bali to hold back. But Bali refuses to go back on his word. To complete the act of charity, Bali has to ritually pour water from the snout of his water pot. To block the ritual, Shukra reduces his size, enters the pot and blocks the snout. Vishnu divines what Shukra is up to. And so, when no water comes out of the pot, he offers to unclog the snout. Vishnu takes the blade of grass, sharpens his end and shows it up the snout, blinding Shukra in one eye. Shukra leaps out of pot, falling in pain, and water gushes out from the snout. The ritual is thus completed and Vaman is officially entitled to three paces of land. Vaman then, right before Bali's eyes, transforms into a giant end, with one stride claims the sky and with another stride claims the earth. I have no other place to place my foot now, says Vishnu in a voice that booms across the few words. Bali overwhelmed by the sight of the giant Vishnu bows his head humbly and replies, Please place it on my head then. Vishnu places his foot on Bali's head and shows him under the ground, into Patala, the subterranean, the world that is the rightful place of Asuras. All those who see this gigantic form of Vishnu conclude that only Vishnu is Trivikrama, conqueror of the three worlds of the Devas, the Manavas and the Asura. He spans all worlds. He is God. Bali is a good king, who like his father assumed that if he satisfies the desire of all living creatures, all will be well. By transforming into a giant, Vishnu draws Bali's attention to a reality that Bali ignores human desires are infinite while material resources are finite. Bali can never satisfy all the desires of living creature. Material resources are limited, but human's want is unlimited. To make Bali realize this, Vaman turns into a giant. Before Vaman's gigantic form, Bali realizes his insignificance.